Milwaukee aldermen were stunned to hear about a gag order at the health department. Now they want to ban all city departments from doing something similar. Several aldermen say that barring city workers from bringing up problems directly to the Common Council puts the public at risk. Ricky Mitchell is outside the city hall with more on this. Well, this all came to light during a discussion about the Milwaukee Health Department's lead prevention program and failures there that may have put thousands of kids at risk. Now, members of the Common Council want to know if other city departments have the same policy. This is a systemic problem that's much deeper than the health department. A culture of keeping quiet. That's what several members of Milwaukee's Common Council say is going on in city departments. There are employees who are watching who are sending text messages and saying that this is this is their experience. But the Milwaukee Health Department put the policy in writing. It says employees must receive authorization from the commissioner before speaking to any elected official. They also can't respond to an elected official without prior approval. This is disturbing uh, to uh, see a written policy uh, like this. Alderman Bob Donovan says he believes employees in other departments may not have a written policy, but fear retaliation if they speak to elected officials. Over the years, I've been contacted by uh, city employees telling me certain things that are going on. But I can't move forward with it because they're begging me not to reveal their name. Alderman Tony Zielinski drafted a resolution to ban policies like this, calling it a disgrace. The mayor's office also said he expects that no department should have this policy. As much as you think that you may be protecting somebody, you're obviously putting the public at risk. And now the Department of Neighborhood Services and the Department of Public Works both confirm that they do not have these policies. The mayor's office did confirm late this afternoon that the mayor has rescinded the health department's policy. Nevertheless, aldermen still want to go forward with an ordinance that would ban these policies across the board. Reporting live downtown, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. All right, Ricky, thanks.